what's up everybody if you're new welcome if you're old welcome back to my channel i'm jerry and you're watching life with jerry all right guys what's up what's up what's up i know i didn't say my usual it's vlogmas uh, um I know I didn't say my usual vlogmas intro um I just I just wanted to sit down and really talk to you guys because I've been going through a lot off camera and I kind of just want to reflect on 2020 as a whole and I just feel like this is going to be a very vulnerable video and I just can't fake the funk for this one I can't do the it's vlogmas like I'm just so happy and everything's so good in my life because it's really not I'm gonna try so hard to keep it together because I've really like I feel like the past week has really put a toll on me like so bad that I just kind of want to reflect on the whole year and oh my gosh I didn't think I was gonna do this honestly I really didn't think I was gonna do this I've been really trying to keep so much in oh my goodness hold on y'all hold on y'all because I need to put it back in I need to put it back in I really didn't think I was gonna do this y'all I, I didn't even think I was feeling this way because honestly the past couple days like i've been sad i've been like really really depressed i've just kind of been going through the motions but i haven't felt like the need to like cry or let anything out oh man hold on y'all hold on y'all because i really don't want to do this i don't oh fuck go back in we're not doing this today we are not doing this today you've been doing so well oh shit okay so i know like it's so close to christmas and it's kind of like i should be in good spirits and just so happy but i'm not i'm genuinely not oh man oh my goodness i didn't even bring no tissue with me oh, i don't want to do this i literally did my makeup so i wouldn't cry literally because i was gonna get up in the morning come sit in my car film this video then do my makeup and try to pre-film the rest of vlogmas videos because i literally just can't with myself <laughs> um i've been trying to hold it in all of vlogmas y'all i really have i've been trying to be in good spirits and just be happy and just i'm a, i'm a positive person i don't like to let emotions and all these things take control of me I try to remain positive and just be like there's light at the end of the tunnel no matter what I'm going through somebody out there always has it worse so I'm grateful for what I have and I'm grateful for my problems because it could be worse but whoo I'm so tired of being strong I really am I'm so tired of holding it in I really am this year I feel like has taken a toll on literally everybody like I feel like even people who usually don't go through so much like usually are like happy people that their lives are just so great and so happy and just you know what i'm saying i feel like this year even took a toll on them because there are people out there that really just don't go through a lot and i really i really like that's good you know who that's so good um i just okay so uh, this video is all over the place i really just wanted to sit and reflect on 2020 as a whole and just reflect on me and my life as a whole and just be vulnerable with you guys for a little bit because i feel like i don't show a lot on youtube i feel like i put on a facade i feel like for the past couple months i've been acting like i'm happy when i'm not i've been acting like everything is good when it's not and i just i just want to let it out and not like I mean, y'all in my diary, y'all in my gang, gang, gang. Like, I feel like it's so much easier for me to just turn on the camera, be by myself and talk to it versus trying to let it out to somebody just because, and I know my friends wouldn't do this, but people always in my life have turned my shit against me. And it makes it so hard for me to want to open up to people. It makes it so hard for me to realize, like, they're not like that. They just really want to be there for you. They really just want to help you. It's just hard, you know? And I'm the type of person, I don't like putting my burdens on other people. So I'd rather turn on the camera and talk to you guys. And who knows if this video is going to get up. It probably will, because I'm going to need a vlogmas video. I'm trying to be consistent with this vlogmas shit this year. But... I might cut a lot out, I'm not gonna lie, because I can't do the crying on camera. I'm trying to keep it all in, but I know as soon as I start talking about how I feel, 
it's gonna want to come out and i i don't i feel like it's just so much emotion i've been suppressing for the past 12 freaking months and really the past like two three months i've been really holding a lot in and i feel like it just all is ready to come out and I'm not ready for it to come out because I know I'm going to be crying for days, bro. Maybe even weeks, bro. Like, I just feel so fucking defeated. So done. Like, who? I don't even know how to explain it. I'm just trying to, like, I just feel so defeated. And I really don't want to bring this into the next year with me, even though it's not like you wake up and it's January 1st and everything's reset. That's not how life works. But I do want to go into january 1st in the new year like in positive spirits because i feel like i've been depressed and anxious for the past freaking year two years like i just want to stop feeling this way like you feel me like my goodness like i feel like i constantly push people away I feel like I'm constantly on edge, like when I let somebody in, I'm constantly on edge, like do they really like me? Do they really fuck with me? Like what is it? Are they gonna just leave me? And they do! You feel me? Like what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Like what the fuck? We gonna reflect on 2020 as a whole. Um, 2020 has been a hard year for me, honestly. I've, the beginning of the year, I was raped. It was a lot to handle just because y'all know freshman year of college I was raped y'all saw my story time um, so for that to happen again to me it was just a lot to handle um, I kind of suppressed those emotions and I don't I don't know honestly I don't even know how I handled that I don't know if I'm fully healed from it so I don't really want to talk about it but I started the that the year started off basically like well fuck you know what I'm saying I was getting out of a relationship trying to heal from a breakup with my ex so it was already a lot to handle it was very heavy for me um it was a lot um but YouTube was going great at that time YouTube was going great my views were good I was making good money off YouTube it was my only income at the time like as far as that goes that part of my life was great and that outweighed the bad honestly like it was an outlet for me y'all were an outlet for me all the positive messages and words y'all were giving me even though y'all never knew what I was going through it was just so great you know what I'm saying like it just kept my spirits lifted it genuinely did um social media wasn't taking that big of a toll on me back then because life was good honestly I was just trying to keep it growing keep it going and stay relevant you feel me um so back like first couple months of the year life was it was all right despite going through trying to get through a breakup and then getting raped um surprisingly everything else was really good for me like usually when one thing goes bad everything else in my life goes bad but youtube was really keeping my spirits lifted when i tell y'all like the beginning of the year that's when i started like i think i had started getting towards 100k like everything was booming you feel me for me and it was just like keeping my spirits to the highest of the highest and i just loved it i enjoyed creating the content i enjoyed talking to you guys i used to go live with you guys i used to have group chats with you guys like everything was so good you feel me then um spring break came spring break was good i had so much fun spring break prior to spring break my grades were the best they've ever been in college so i was really lit at spring break because i'm like oh period you feel me like my grades are hella good like everything is going good despite those two little things i put those behind me like not behind me but like i didn't think of it you feel me because everything else was going so good i'm just like yeah it's lit period like everything is going great like i never had those high ass grades in college and it was actually coming from me i wasn't finessing it like i actually was understanding the material for once and i was hyped because y'all know me if y'all know i don't like school school is not for me school is just not my thing um so spring break came spring break was really good i had a time in my life with my friends i was so happy we went to miami y'all we were so lit i met so many great people and it was just good vibes like no drama everything was lit like spring break was so fun bro like literally so fun i wish i could relive that whole week like we stayed out there for a week i wish i could relive that whole week because after that everything went <laughs> so while we were on spring break is when covid happened School got shut down, like school got, spring break got extended a week. The next day school was just shut down fully. Soon as we left from spring break, 
we got back from spring break on a Tuesday. I mean, on a Saturday. We got back from spring break on a Saturday. On Tuesday, we was already back in the Bay at our parents' house. Like, it, everything happened so freaking quickly. Like, literally so fucking quick. It was just, it, it was just, like, crazy to believe. Like, it just all happened so quick. Like, who would have thought, like, my senior year would have came to an end so abruptly. Just like that. You feel me? Like, it was crazy. I'm like, wow senior year like what the fuck like this was supposed to be the year like nothing but happiness like first generation walk that stage like that just put the biggest damper on me to have to go home do online classes and just be stuck in the house for three months because i was in the house for like three months straight my mom would not let me do nothing unless i went to work with her i was going to the store like it was for real like it was real like lockdown was real and that took a real toll on me because I was so used for the past four years, so used to just being on my own, living on my own, not being cramped. You know, I love my mom to death. I love my uncle to death. and I love my grandma to death. But we couldn't all four fit in that damn three bedroom apartment no more. You know, like I grew out of it. I grew out of it, honestly. So I really just wasn't in the right spirits there. Like I love them. I love going to visit. If y'all know me, I visit all the time. I'm always back in the bay visiting them. But living there, I just need my own space. Like to, especially for creativity, like doing YouTube videos and stuff. I really wasn't happy filming there. Like I wasn't. Sometimes it would be too loud in the background because they didn't know how to like, you know, they weren't used to me being home. So of course being quiet was a little hard. And they had their everyday life. They already had their routine. I am the one that came suddenly because COVID happened suddenly. So I had to adjust. And it was a lot. Um, I was in the process of trying to build my business back up. Couldn't do that. I couldn't even unbox my stuff to get it together because it was just so much stuff there. Like, all of their stuff was there and then I was trying to move my stuff there. It was just too much. So I knew I had to start looking for a place to go and all that stuff. So, um that took a toll on me like I love them I genuinely do but that took a toll on me I needed to I needed my own space I just did I'm sorry I have to mute this part just because it's a lot of stuff I talk about that I really um am not comfortable putting out but basically I was talking about how I was talking to somebody the dude that I was saying I'm exclusive with and um I was just basically talking about how for three months I couldn't really see him despite me being the one that really wanted to see him back then and all this stuff but you know corona I was stuck in the house lockdown all of that stuff um I it's hard for me to go into detail in what I was talking about because I kind of really high key don't want to put that information out anymore um i was just venting with the camera on so a lot of stuff is getting cut out of this video i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm so sorry i'm just not ready to speak on some of this stuff yet um but yeah so i'm just talking about that and then uh i'm gonna go into other things after so yeah sorry I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because of what I've been through, but I just crave like a man in my life. I crave security. It could be because my dad's not really in my life like that. It could be because I've been abused, raped. It could be it could be a lot of things, you know? So I just I kind of crave security from a man and stability from a man. So it was just hard. Like it was really hard for me. Um that's not something I usually talk about either, but now y'all know um so it was just like really really hard for me it was really hard um so end up finding a place to live this like three four months into corona i guess um finally get moved out and stuff you feel me um while corona's happening my youtube channel is going downhill i'm not getting the views i was getting no more i'm still getting good money but not as great as before but my views were starting to like go down a little bit but not too much so i wasn't too stressed about it i was like okay i'm gonna build it back up it's all good um let's fast forward a little bit to like the past couple months just because everything else is kind of a blur like it wasn't that terrible like it was just like i was going through the motions so i can't really think of major events between that time and the past couple months so we're just gonna skip to the past couple months now the past couple of months um i've been at my worst honestly um my youtube channel can't even touch a thousand views no more like i i really struggle with my engagement i don't know what it is i've tried everything with my channel literally everything I went from making a couple thousands a month to who barely trying to make a thousand dollars a month and that still is a lot of money and I'm still very grateful but going from YouTube paying all my bills to having to get a job to assist in paying for my bills was a big difference it was a change and it was a lot and it took a big toll on me because 
I'm the type of person, I don't ask for help. I like to let my mom, you feel me, do her. Like, I don't like to stress her out money financially or nothing. Even though I know she gonna help me. I know she, if she got it, she got me. Even if she don't got it, she gonna make sure she got me. Like, but I just, I was so used to, because in college, you know, I, refund checks, I knew how to manage that. So I never, I haven't asked my mom for money for real in four years, five years. So to think about like damn i might have to start asking her for money it's just like fuck because i know she's going through a lot i know my uncle's going through a lot financially she's trying to save for his surgery that can happen anytime that's also stressing me it's just so much you know and so i got a job hated doing security started working from home i actually like working from home but at the same time i don't because i'm always home and I never get out and it's 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 a lot. It's a lot on me It's really a lot on me because I don't really get out. I feel like I have friends. Don't get me wrong I do but I I don't know I just feel like everybody's living different lives and it's just a big change for me because I'm so used to Always being with my friends always having them there You know what I'm saying? Like even my best friend Kayla. She works now. We live two and a half hours away from each other So we talk when we're both free and I don't want every time we talk for me to be burdening her with my problems. You feel me? Like, it's just a lot. <laughs> so I don't really talk to anybody about how I feel. Um, I know that, may, like, in a way, I probably push, like, Tully away as far as friendship-wise. Because I'm always in my room. Always in my head about shit. And it's also new for me you know like we've been friends for years but it's also new like as far as for our friendship being around each other 25 8 you know like for me it's pretty new and i feel like i don't know i don't want to say the wrong thing i don't want to do the wrong thing because i know how i get especially when my depression my emotions are always all over the place and i don't want her to look at me as like a certain type of way when that's not me you know like my friends are my, like kayla's used to it she's used to me she's used to me having my moments where i just have panic attacks i have anxiety attacks i just try to stay in my room so telly doesn't have to see that you know and then i just i don't know i'd be scared to vent because i don't want to be judged and i know telly's not going to judge me obviously but i don't know it's just a lot and then you know she has her own life as well you feel me she probably has her own problems i don't want to burn it her and then it's like also we both are barely ever here so it's kind of like we barely see each other so like it's hard it's like okay we, we're friends of course we're really good friends but it's hard to build our friendship because we're both never here you know and so when you don't build a certain type of bond with somebody it's also hard for you to feel like you could really sit and vent to them you know so i don't know I've just been holding a lot of shit in for the past couple months. Like, a lot of shit. I don't know when this video will be up. Today is December 20th. This video might be up Tuesday. I don't know. But, um, because I still have to edit our gingerbread house video. But, um, it's just a lot. Because I, I really do like him. Like, I really like him. A lot. And so from going to talking all the time and seeing each other very often than we ever did it before it's kind of like damn do you still like me like do you still feel the same way like i was genuinely happy when we was texting and seeing each other like it was taking me out of reality if that in a sense like i was genuinely happy like like really really happy like life was really good like i just felt that security i felt that bond i felt like we were getting closer but I was going with the flow and shit was good like it was good i wasn't expecting more i wasn't expecting less i was good where we were at if it progressed i was good with that too i just didn't want it to decrease i'm an overthinker i don't know it's just been a lot i've been trying to relaunch my business and try to find outlets but i just can't seem to be happy i don't know what it is like and social media and youtube is not helping it's not honestly it's really not just because i'm work i'm trying to work so hard to bring my channel back and it feels like everything i do does not work it feels like no matter what i do no matter what i put out y'all don't watch and that takes a toll on me it really does having to feel like i gotta get dressed to take pictures for instagram all the time you feel me keep the algorithm my instagram likes going from getting five six hundred a picture to barely 100 200 it's kind of like ah, you know what i'm saying because if y'all don't know like when you do social media youtube tiktok anything you get sponsorships from 
from your numbers from your engagement so it's like yeah we're not in it for the views and the money but at the same time we're getting older we have bills to pay we have things we need to do we have needs you know what i'm saying and when you go from making this amount of money and getting these amount of sponsorships and this taking care of this bill that bill that bill to having to go to getting a regular job and balancing all of this stuff and trying to keep it afloat while trying to brand like you know what i'm saying get these deals and get this money and do all this stuff it's just a lot especially for a 21 22 23 year old who is just freaking really getting into adulthood you know and then for me i'm the type of person i'm so ready for my life to just be like progress like i'm ready for a family i'm ready for genuine real love like i'm ready for to just settle down you know what i'm saying and just really be in my element in my bag you feel me and yeah it's fun getting money by yourself of course like i could do that i've been doing that but it's nice to get money with somebody and have a actual like connection real bond real love real relationship family with somebody like i want that you know what i'm saying y'all might be saying like girl you young like live your life i've done that i did the party and shit i didn't have my little mini whole phase i didn't did all the shit i didn't did anything you could think of i've done it especially while i was in college so i'm ready to settle down and it's just a lot to think about some it's, it's just a lot on top of that struggling with depression anxiety all this other shit like, i don't want to put all my family business out there of course but it's just a lot it's really a lot and it really takes a toll on me and my day-to-day -day life and i try and it's just hard because ever since like my parents divorced back in middle school i've learned to just suppress my emotions put everything behind me not talk about it because i want to be strong for the next person i want to be strong for this person i don't want nobody to see me weak i'm i'm tired of being strong for people i'm tired of not wanting people to see me weak because fuck that like what is that doing for me other than putting more of a stress on me more of a toll on me all of this shit you know what i'm saying like i keep it in i try not to burden people but damn bro like damn it's hard it really is hard like trying to portray yourself as this strong ass woman who is good like who life is good and all this shit put on this facade and it's not even like i'm putting on a facade because when i do make videos i am in my element i am happy but when them cameras cut off bro i'm back to reality and shit is hard like it's a lot it really is a fucking lot and i just i can't no more i really can't and i'm i'm trying i'm really really trying to pull myself up this time out of that hole because i've been in this hole and it's been bad it's gotten bad like i like it's gotten bad and i'm just trying not to go down that road again trying to keep myself out of that hole because i'm trying to just keep myself out of that hole because i don't want to go down that road again i don't want to go down that path again and it's just hard it's really hard like i'm not saying i don't got friends i'm not saying i don't got a support system that's not what i'm saying but what i am saying is it's hard to want to put your burdens on people without like feeling like it's too much because i already know all my friends go through shit too like they got their own problems why would i want to burden them with mine i feel like that's selfish you feel me like and I don't want to talk to my mom about everything because you know how parents are. And it's kind of just like, I don't want to let her down with her knowing everything and just hearing everything. Because she don't know half this shit, honestly. And I don't, I just don't want to put that type of stress and emotion on her. Especially because she is a freaking essential worker. She is around patients with COVID. Like, she stresses enough on her day-to-day -day life. It's just hard, man. It's just hard. It's just hard. Like, I just kind of miss, like... Because, like, when I'm in a relationship, that'd be my go-to. That'd be my outlet. Like, I could just sit to my man and talk to my man about it without having to burden my friends. Because I know my friends go through shit. I already know because having them talk to me about their shit or I see it. You feel me? Like, I already know. So, I don't want to burden them with that. Not saying my man wouldn't go through shit. Obviously, he does. But he could talk to me. I could talk to him. And I know it's not a burden on him. And he should know it's not a burden on me, you know? I don't know. It's a lot. It's just a lot. I don't even know how to explain what I'm trying to say without making it seem like i'm saying i need a man because that's not the fucking case don't take it that way please but i don't know i'm just kind of reflecting i've been reflecting on 2020 the past couple days and it's some sad shit it's some shit i ain't even speak about right now like i just can't i just i don't know i didn't expect all these emotions to come up honestly when i did this video because i like i said i've been like i've been sad i've been depressed but i've also been fine like i've been listening to music and music honestly gets me 
out of that headspace. So I've been like good. Like I haven't felt the need to cry, but damn, like just actually hearing myself try to talk about this is a lie. It's heavy. It's it's really a lie. It's really heavy. It's just a lot. It's a lot. But y'all know a little bit more about me now, especially off camera shit. Um, it's so much more to the shit that I don't want to bring up and I don't want to talk about because it's just a lot. It's really a lot. I know I keep saying that, but it, believe me, it's a lot. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just sad. I'm really sad, y'all. I'm really, like, really, really sad. I'm just really going through it. Pray for me. Please pray for me. I believe in power of prayer. So just pray for me. Pray that things get better. I'm going to pray for y'all. Whatever y'all going through. If y'all ever need to talk, DM me in my DMs. I read them. I reply. I've been trying to stay off social media and off Instagram, but it's hard. Because, like, when I'm not on social media, I'm not on Instagram, I just sit. And then it's me and my thoughts. And I just need an outlet. I do. If y'all have any suggestions, let me know. Because I'm really going through it right now. And I'm honestly tired of acting like I'm not. I just want to heal. I just want to be better. I just want to feel better. I just want to... Yeah. I don't know. I love y'all so much. I just wanted to have a little vulnerable talk with y'all. Really sit down and talk to y'all. And let y'all in on my life a little bit more. Because I feel like y'all don't know much. Like... I turn on the camera, everything good, that's what y'all see, turn it off, y'all don't see nothing after that, you feel me, so, and I just needed to vent, I really did, I've been holding so much in, probably after this video, hi, probably after this video, I'm probably gonna end up just going in my room and crying and balling up and yeah, but, okay. Before I fully end this video, I did also want to add that the past couple days, I also haven't been eating like that. Um, I really feel like I'm just in the most worst, worst, worst position I've ever been in. Like, especially with my emotions. What's that car doing? Especially with my emotions, with how I've been feeling with my depression. Like, I feel like it has hasn't really been this bad before like it's been bad but i feel like it's it's getting really really bad like i haven't been eating for real like that like today what time is it right now it's already one o'clock i haven't ate nothing yesterday i didn't eat my first meal till three and then i didn't eat again <sighs> it's just it's a lot it's really a lot and it's, it's just hard not <sighs> I don't know it's just hard like at least before like when I was in Atlanta I was with Kayla 25 8 like we was always together like she knew w when shit was up like we'd have nights where we just talk and cry you feel me and just just be there for each other but it's like now she works I work I live far away and then with me and Telly we both are never really here and it makes it hard like um, at least for my end like to feel like I'm building a friendship with somebody because we're never there And then when we are there we just work all day and then we try to film content But you know she gotta do her TikTok. I be trying to do my YouTube. She be trying to do her YouTube She got her business like it's just a lot, you know uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know I don't know But I'm glad I was able to vent and talk to you guys not gonna lie. I feel like it's helping at least to at least talk about it but I'm just in this constant battle with myself I'm trying to work on myself I'm trying to better myself I'm trying to feel better I'm trying to feel happy again okay again you feel me but forgot to add that I feel completely alone we just gonna see all that I ask is y'all pray for me that's it just pray for me not always do we have to be strong, y'all. And I need to learn that. I really do. I just, I don't know. And then when people ask me, am I okay? I say no, but I don't want to talk about it. Because I don't. You feel me? But <sighs> I just wanted to vent. That's it. And I don't want to post this video, but I probably will. Just because this is my channel. This is my life. I, I, Y'all got to know what it is I go through. I'm a human being. I'm a person, too. This is everyday shit. And... I feel like y'all shouldn't look at me any less than or any type of way. I shouldn't be ashamed for how I feel. I feel like I'm just ranting and going on a tangent, so I'm going to probably just end this video here. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for tuning in. 
I'm gonna catch y'all in tomorrow's video. I'm gonna try to finish Vlogmas off strong. I really am trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, but I love you guys so much. And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. I love you so much, Share Gang. Pray for me. And thank y'all for tuning in. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Let me leave you on a quick positive note. Beat your face, not people. Bye.